If you can make progress on a daily basis, that's a good thing. Even if the prop is small. Anyway, it's Saturday, October 17th. It is 7 hours and 28 minutes into the day. And now we are beginning the vlog for the long weekend. Long weekend because of the two, day, the two days, Saturday and Sunday, merge into one day. This is the vlog that demonstrates how, even during the weekdays, end up melding together. And so, because this is a log, a scientific journal as well, this is where I put some of my thoughts and ideas in here. I don't put a lot of stuff in there. There, there, there are going to be other vlogs that will have more in-depth material, but it's sufficient to put in here that, that, that this is a log and we keep the same format and... We don't erase mistakes. We sort of correct it and make a notation of it. And that, that's, that's what happens when I uh, uh, mess up some of my days or get ideas wrong in terms of where we are, in terms of uh, what I've talked about sometimes. I will repeat things. And you don't even realize until afterwards that, you, that, that you're going back and take a look at the video that, You've actually, uh, the, the vlog, and you've actually realized that you've repeated yourself. Uh, you don't realize it until, you know, until you've passed the event. So then it's too late to go back and really correct it. But the thing is, other people will delete the stuff, but I won't. Uh, whatever I put out, I put out. That's me. That's who I am. Uh, this is, uh, and as much as I look at other people's behaviors and insights and understandings, uh, uh, it's fair game for other people to look at mine. So I don't have an issue. The gaming and meditation is going very well. There is improvement there as well, almost on a daily basis. But as I said, even if the progress is small, uh, it's still progress nonetheless, less than that. That's a good thing. And as the progress is, is, is sort of a... a uh, it's a measure of not only the... Uh, the progress is not only a measure of simply total progress, but a measure of uh, the losses as well, because um, there are always uh, losses and in, in issues throughout the day. And if at the end of the day you can come out ahead, then uh, even if it's just a little bit ahead, then that's good. So that's kind of where we are now. I'm going to have a bit of uh, breakfast. Uh, I have these uh, the, the rice crackers here that, that that I really do enjoy. And this is it's in my recycled can, in my recycled bin or jar. And now I'm gonna have uh, some cereal. <laughs> uh, I was thinking about something else, maybe doing uh, doing a fried egg sandwich, but that would be later on for today, uh, not now. Uh, I don't really, f I, I, I could do it, but I don't really feel like doing it right now, so the simplest thing is just simply a bowl of cereal, glass of milk, and away you go, and, and basically an episode of Fillmore. So, that's about it for now. I will see you in a couple hours, maybe. The feelings are a little bit unusual. I'm still feeling a little bit unusual. The weekend is is almost over. Well, actually, it's over. It's we're now uh, one hour and forty eight minutes into Monday. I believe it's uh, October. I think maybe seventeenth. Let me check and make sure where we are. No, October nineteenth. I'm two days off. And I mean, I've made some mistakes. Uh, uh, I was supposed to record some events, but I didn't do that in terms of uh, the solar astrophysics. I didn't do some of the things I was supposed to do. It just been an, a very off and bizarre weekend. Uh, once again, I have these moments almost on a weekly basis. I get enough work done. I, I, I am pushing the limit. But the thing is, is that 
on a weekly basis, I do seem to be off. I do seem to have a uh, particular issue. I mean, Wednesday was pretty, was very good. I had a very productive day, and you're going to get a long scooter ride. But the weekend, not so much. There, there I didn't really, ha I didn't have a chance in turn in terms of uh, a scooter ride. I didn't do anything over the weekend in terms of the scooter. Uh, I did my shopping. I did some shopping just a few minutes ago. Uh, I also topped up some of the things I needed for over the weekend. And, you know, uh, everything's done on an app now. Everything's done uh, via delivery, free delivery, typically. So there really isn't need to do much more than what I've already done. And what I notice sometimes is just that as much as you get done, there's always so much more to finish that it just simply, you know when you get back to your routine of typically the YouTube stroll, and the YouTube stroll has come along very, very nicely. It's very well structured. I've got new options now with Firefox that I didn't have before, so I have fixed things up very nicely. It's just a matter of, uh, of uh, a lot of times when something is new, you have to, it comes in brand new, it's not set up, you have to set it up, you have to configure it the way you want it. Uh, in terms of what structures you want, how you want to use it, what you're going to use it for. And these all impact the YouTube stroll in terms of how easy it is to get to different channels that you want to get to. And then you always have what called sub paths. And sometimes the channels are deep in the bookmark and sometimes they're not deep in the bookmark. It really depends on how things are organized. These are in this new feature called uh, Collections on, uh, f on, on Facebook. And so you're, you're collecting the channels that you like on, on, or, or, or whatever whatever uh, uh, tabs you like that you want to be saved, you want for quick access. And so I'm using that for my YouTube stroll. And it's, uh, uh, I think it's quite uh, uh, quite an amazing uh, setup because I have a sort of a saved uh, list of things that I want. Uh, and this is particularly for the YouTube stroll. And so the question is, uh, how much further can I push it? But again, I've got enough saved that I'm happy with what I've got. Uh, there are other questions I still do have to answer. Um, right now I'm at Loftus uh, Party of Six. That's off the Clintus path. Clintus is back uh, vlogging almost every other, every other day, so I'm back to checking his channel on a regular basis. So he is now the end point uh, of the uh, of the, called the standard path. And then I have sub-channels that come off the standard path that I go and check every so often depending on, on how much of the path is full, how much time do I have to watch for the standard path uh, on the YouTube stroll. Uh, these are all these so-called depending factors. Sometimes they're like the uh, uh, Family Five vlogs. They didn't post today for some reason. They didn't, they, it, it's Well, it's Sunday. Maybe they didn't post on Sundays because they don't post on Sundays. I'm not Really too sure, but anyways, they didn't post, so I have other places I can go to sort of sort of uh, fill that hole, fill that void, and still have uh, as much of a of a of a uh, sort of a, a YouTube stroll as I want to. And then, of course, let's say I don't feel like a YouTube stroll every once in a while. Uh, I want to go watch some cartoons, and I have that. I have uh, Fillmore. I have uh, Kim Possible. Those, those are my two go-to right now. Uh, coming in will probably be uh, 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 Codename Kiss Next Door. I also have uh, one called Juniper Lee. I have a number of different options I can go to uh, that are off the YouTube path into the, the cartoon environment. And then I also have some other things I need to sort of test out uh, for online anime streaming. So it's really gonna. I, I was. I've got at this point in time, even, even though I've got the cable, I've got too much content on my. I can't watch everything. So this is kind of a midway point uh, uh, discussion, a midway point uh, clip segment. Uh, we will be ending again at uh, probably. Actually, not till later. We won't be ending probably close to around 6 o'clock. I just finished some uh, uh, gaming right now. Uh, I started some of the meditation as well, but my, my meditation has been off. And it just has to do with where my mind is. 
So if it says six hours from now, it's two o'clock in the morning. Uh, I won't be getting back till seven a.m. So seven a.m. will be uh, the ending segment, just around that point in time, and then about an hour to two hours later, uh, I'll be doing the beginning segment uh, for uh, the Monday's vlog. And it's only been like six minutes, seven minutes now, and I've forgotten what day it is today. I think it's the nineteenth. Anyways, see you in a couple hours. Sometimes a project pops up that is critical and needs to be front-loaded, even though you're not certain of the time, and that's what happened here. We are late ending the vlog for uh, Saturday and Sunday. This is our uh, the the day we uh, this is the time the weekend vlog where we vlog one day. Uh, well, we vlog two days as as, as if it were twenty four hours. There was one continuous day, and this is the end of it. We always end in the morning, uh, but usually we end earlier because uh, I'm here gaming and doing the meditation. And before I do all that, I. Uh, and the vlog. Uh, this time, not so much. Uh, this time I spent uh, not medita meditation and gaming, but meditation and in the kitchen. Uh, I was cooking. <laughs> um, I have a picture of my grandmother in there, my, my, my uh, Syrian grandmother. And uh, we kind of cooked together. It's kind of how I do that. I've learned how I've ha I had the fortune of growing up with a lot of grandmas and a lot of aunties in my church and they all came from very remote villages and they learned from their grandmothers themselves from from their own and from their own mothers how to cook but there weren't recipes it was all done by taste by feel by by uh, by smell by a variety of different methods and so i sat down and i learned i i studied that methodology i studied uh, how to create my own spice mixtures how to do um, to learn what flavors go together, what flavors don't go together, how to, you know, make small badges and test them out to sort of see how uh, things are going are going to play out in terms of how they're plated and you know, because what happens how you plate something and as I was, I was uh, posting these pictures to Instagram uh, and there is uh, a, trying out a new recipe for sasabi which is basically spam but I don't really like spam because I don't like the plain flavor I like the spices. So I said, okay, well, let's do what I did for Gibby. Uh, and let's take the Gibby recipe and alter it, change the spices up, but use it for pork. And so I said, oh, but I want an East Asian flavor uh, because uh, uh, Gibby is primarily Central and West Asian uh, where spices like ginger and uh, uh, star anise, the uh, licorice flavor, are typically uh, East Asian flavors. And so... I basically mixed it up. I took away the the the, the, the uh, West Asian uh, spices and and put in the uh, East Asian spices: ginger, uh, uh, Thai chili peppers, ground Thai chili ground Thai chili peppers with the seeds. <laughs> it was it was hot. Uh, and I you uh, and, and uh, uh, let's see, uh, soy sauce. I used ginger. What else? Okay. Well, your, your basics are also always onions and uh, garlic, and I don't use the powder. I use granules. Uh, and in terms of the onions, I don't use regular granules. I don't buy the granulated onion. What I do is I buy uh, what they have in the Asian stores, like TNT Infusion. Uh, what they have in their stores is basically fried shallots or fried onions. And it's a caramelized version of onion, but now it's packaged in a manner that you take out what you need, you put it into a grinder, and you make your uh, coarse ground uh, uh, onion granules that you put into your food. Again, all done by sight, all done by smell, and you put in as you go along. And you you get to know from experience uh, what's, how much spice of one thing to put in. And that's how that's how I've learned how to do the, this new one called masabi, masabi which features uh, uh, spam. 
I did my own Asian version of Spam, uh, doing the gold Gibby style. And then uh, for this one uh, that I just made now, I did more of a. Uh, it's this is not a, 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 it's not it doesn't feature a hot spice, but rather is to feature herbs as the primary uh, mixture. And the primary herb mixture that that everything sort of backs up is a herb mixture known as zata. And um, that's what I use. But again, you have to understand how to balance the spices out. And I th think from the smell and how things work out, that the, uh, the that the spice mixture is going to work well. And I think I see going back to the tech. See, I I always base I've based a lot of my my my, my uh, uh, endings, the uh, no refunds based off of John, uh, off of the Tannerites, uh, uh, Yahweh vlogs. You are worth it, and it's the, they're telling it. To, they're saying it to other people, but the thing is, when they practice their own phrasing, it's not necessarily are you worth you are worth it. It is more the message of perseverance. Keep going. Yeah, things are hard, but the things that are hard are worth working for. The reward is better on the other side. And so that's, for me, that's a very good method. That's a, because a lot of people tend to sort of... Um, when things get hard, they get going. They, they leave. And so the question is, the, the whole... Refrain, refrain uh, the whole saying of no refunds means I'm going to keep going. It's about perseverance, not whether I'm worth it or not. But anyways, if, if it works for him and that's what he wants to say to other people, then great for him. You know, that's that's what he does. But I see in his videos and I see how uh, even the, the, what he's passing on to his kids and you see it in their sort of behaviors. Yeah, they're they're persevering. They're they're pushing on. Sometimes they don't always do things correctly. They'll cheat and whatever. But they're still pushing on. They're still persevering. They're not quitting. So, yeah, okay, it's bad cheating. But if you're not quitting at the same time, and you're trying to figure out a particular problem that you're having, well, it's not the best solution. But the thing is, at least it is a solution. And they're trying. So, <laughs> anyways, no refunds.